So what would you do? Well, I can tell you what most people do, and it's the wrong thing. Okay, Danny, I've seen this time and time again. As a guy that's coached celebrities, millionaires, and, and everything in between from you know kids that are in need to everything else, here's what most people in that situation do is they focus on the darkness in the tunnel. You know, man, when I was like uh, six years old, I went on the first ever family vacation down to San Antonio. We went far away, <laughs> right? Like my family didn't have any money, so that was like a, a big vacation for us. I think we went opening weekend of SeaWorld or some stuff like that, but I'll never forget driving down the, the freeway, 35 over there to get to San Antonio from Dallas, there was a place called the Inner Space Cavern. The shit's still there if you ever, you ever go by it. And it's like $5 to go in this cave, right? And so my, my parents, it's like the, the Joe Dirt episode, right? My parents pull over to go into this cave and we go down into this cave. We're in one of those like mine carts. We go all the way down to the bottom of this cave, man. And I, and I remember this as a kid, I was probably seven or eight. Yeah, somewhere around in there, right? They had the ET rocks. They could put a flashlight to it and it looked like ET's belly and all this stuff, dude. But you're like way down in this cave and then they kill the lights. And they say, this is what total darkness feels like. Like total darkness. You can't see your hand wave in front of you. It's complete black. Six hours in total darkness, your mind starts to escape because your eyes can't process what's around them. 12 hours into total darkness, you start losing your damn mind. If you spend more than 72 hours in total darkness, there's no coming back. And so here's what most people do. They've lived a life to where they're in that total darkness. Somewhere at the end of that total darkness, if I move around and I stop focusing on, on the darkness, if I'm just feeling my way around, doing the best that I can, making the most effort I can, eventually I'm gonna find the light that's gonna lead me out of that tunnel if I'm focused on finding that. What happens to most people is they sit there in total darkness and in fear of escaping the total darkness and they end up going crazy. We see people all the time, they've been in dark periods of their lives for years and they lost their damn mind. We see crackheads at the store. They've been in dark periods of, of their lives for a long time. They've lost their damn mind. We've seen people that hit the bottle too hard, that have cheated on their significant other, that have been in dark periods of their lives for a long time and they can't escape because they're focused on the darkness. But see, most of us that, that have figured out how to escape that darkness know that the only way to escape the darkness is to focus on finding the light. Right? Even when you're in the bottom of that cave in total darkness, there's somehow that we got there which means that if we got there from somewhere, there has to be an exit going back the same way or another way out. And if we're constantly searching for that, as opposed to searching for the reason why we're in the darkness, so many people try to, they try to figure out why they're in the darkness, why they did the things they did, why it happened to them, why they're the victim, who cares? What you gotta start focusing is how I'm gonna get out of this. And, and we know that when the human mind gets focused, Right, focus is the most, it's our superpower as human beings. And we know that when the human mind gets focused, we make shit happen. We go to Mars, we take over countries, we change democracies, right? That's what we do. We create billions of dollars and trillions of dollars in revenue when we get focused. And so most people are focused on the wrong thing. They're focused on the darkness, but those of us that get focused on the light will soon escape and receive everything that we want in the first place. And that's a metaphor, Danny, me telling you the story in the cave, because here's what most people do right? Most people worry about the problem. Most people tell you, yo, I'm a certified problem solver. That's what I do. I solve a problem. The first time problem shows up, they're like, oh, no, right? They're problem, they're problem scared, right? They're pro they're, the problem is they don't solve problems. They, they dwell in them, okay? But here's the thing. When you're a problem solver, you don't worry about the problem. You look for the solution. And when you get on the solution side of life, things really change when you start focusing no matter how dark it is in your life right now the world could be falling apart you could be broke you could be broken you could be broken hearted you could just be at your worst rock bottom ever but guess what at the rock bottom at the darkness if you just look up there's light somewhere and if you start focusing on that light you'll eventually jackhammer a mound big enough to climb the hell out of there you understand what i'm saying when i when i when i say this stuff man so many people are focused on the darkness man if you want to get out of that situation all you got to do is focus on the solution. Look towards the light, my man.